<clears throat> cough, cough, clear throat. <laughs> so, about them dong flaps. <laughs> I guess we should just jump right in here. Um, fucking, uh, how do you pronounce his name? Gradar? General Gradar. 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 I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. He's got a fucking wolf pellet. Um, which, I guess, for aesthetically, like pleasingness, it does. But like, if you've got a giant green schlong, I mean, wouldn't you want to show that off? Like. Why do you need a wolf pellet? It's clearly not gonna like give you any protection, and protection is key. Wink, wink. <laughs> also, just what the actual fuck is the point of a so-called dong flap? What is that protecting? It is okay, literally a wolf pelt covering his quote quote green schlong. Like no, my Bando's God Sword is slashing right through that wolf pelt and chopping it right off. So, well, and look at the Sammy boss. I don't actually know the name of that thing, whatever it is. Krill. But, Krill. Oh, that's right. Yeah, fucking Krill. I, I don't play this anymore. Uh, d like look at look at his dong flap. Like, is that protecting anything? Is that doing anything except protecting like the space underneath your legs? Like, also, is there one of those in the back too, or is it just in the front? I, like, yeah, like what if you look at it from the back? What is exactly what is that so, doing? So if I were to run in there with like a gun and spear and run up behind him and like shove it up his ass, would the dong flap do anything? Oh yeah, I'm just assuming he has an ass and a dick, considering he has a freaking six pack. Like what? Yeah, this guy is this guy is pretty ripped. Not gonna lie. So it's doing jack squat because his armor consists of covering his arms, his tippy toes. I mean, and his kneecaps. Hey, I, I mean, at least it's at least it's like narrow enough that he can walk. If you look at the freaking Arma boss, I again, I don't know the names. That thing, like, how would you walk with that thing? Like, look at that. It's like as wide as his legs. Plus, he's a goddamn bird. He doesn't yeah. need a fucking dong flap. Also, he flies around. Yeah. Why is he standing upright? Like, if he's fucking flying, that thing is gonna be all over the place. I guess he could use it as a weapon, maybe. Also, his wings! His wings are literally covered in goddamn metal. Like, you're not fucking flying with that much weight on you in yeah. the first place. Not happening. All right. Zillion, on the other hand, has some yeah. exposed wings and a potential dong flap. We couldn't decide whether or not this was dong flap or not, so we're including it anyways. But Yeah, this, this might cause some problems if, you know, you were gonna have a little fun in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> <sighs> Moving right along. So this 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 is the old this is the like 2012 2011 rendering of a Bandos Tassets, and here you go. Like, I guess it takes its inspiration from General Gradar at having a dod a dong flap. So there you go. You got your long dong flap just right there. But moving on to the girl. What? Why does she need a dong flap on this character? Well, first of all, can we talk about the shape of this thing? Like, at what point is it like, okay, you know what? I need to cut this into an arrow, like, shape. First of all, she doesn't actually have anything down there to protect. Okay, I guess, okay, all the feminists are going to get mad at me now. But, like, she doesn't exactly have anything flopping around down there. So, like... Why are you, like, so specific on the shape? Also, totally, you could shove, like, a knife up in there. Like, that thing could be, like, a weapon holder. But no, it's just, like, fucking leather. And that's it. Like, her legs are exposed. What, what is this thing doing? Yeah, like, don't even get... Bandos armor in general just looks stupid. Like, moving on to this 07, old-school RS version of Bandos armor, which is basically the only rendering of a dong flap that I can see from the 2007 era. Like, what type of armor is this? Why on one shoulder do you have some massive-ass spikes? And then the other shoulder is like, nah, mate, we don't need any spikes. His legs, his kneecaps, they're gonna get chopped right off? What, what is even on his hands? Can you hold a sword with those big-ass gauntlets on there? I don't think so. See, I don't think this is actually a dong flap. I think he's actually, like, a high school football quarterback who's had his armor just mutilated. And, like, he just left a towel in the front of his... His uniform. I don't think that's actually a dog. It's his, it's his jock strap. He's it's covering... His... <laughs> it's his jock strap. Okay. It's a jock strap. Well, if, you want to talk about, if you want to talk about jock straps, this, uh, is this steel armor? This is, is steel this? armor. 
is this steel it really does look like a jock strap it's just a very uncomfortable looking first of all how does he walk with that thing i i'd like to see someone walk with that because that that does not look comfortable but see this looks like it actually curves underneath them like this might actually serve a purpose yeah, I, it, it could serve a purpose. Honestly, it's steel armor, so the kid's got 10 fucking defense. He's going to die if a freaking fly lands on him. So I don't see why he needs a dong flap in the first place. Because he's dead no matter what. Train up your goddamn defense. Get some black armor. Get, I don't know, get some fucking bandos. Have a better dong flap. Whatever. But the 07 version of this armor, you can obviously see there is no dong flap in sight. So Jagex, somehow, in the 2011-2012 graphical update, they just got a dong flap fetish. Because moving on to this black armor, what is this? A red dong flap. Yeah, it's not even just like... it. Look, it's clearly not even covering like metal. Like some of these dong flaps, there's something underneath the dong flap and it literally serves no purpose. This is just like cloth. This is, they're wearing underwear is what's happening. They're wearing underwear over their armor because you know, that's so outside. fashionable. It's cloth too, it ain't doing shit. Moving on to the um, elite black armor, I guess. Like, it's literally just gold trimmed, or black trimmed, which is still a thing, so there's two that look the same, whatever. Dong flap was just some gold trim, ain't doing jack shit. But the 2007 version of this, old school runescape, no dong flap in sight on this dude. He also looks like a pleb, because he doesn't have a sword, but whatever. But don't even get us started on Guthin's armor. Like, so what the fuck? <laughs> like, okay, first off, are those fucking teeth at the bottom of the dong flap? Like, am I seeing this right? Are those, like, claws or teeth or something? Like, who's like, you know what? This dong flap isn't inconvenient enough. I need it to chafe my legs when I walk. Like, come on. Yeah, like, what is that gonna stop? What monster or what enemy is going to be like, dude, let's go for his dong flap? Nah. Just, like, there's no reasoning, no sound mind reasoning for having two saber tooth tiger teeth Hanging off your damn dong flap. And look, the the old version, the 2007 version, it's perfectly fine. It clearly shows that there's something underneath the dong flap. So the dong flap literally has no purpose. Yeah, because what, what is it? A Guthin's chain skirt. So the dong flap in the pre-EOC, or EOC graphical update, that there's a chain skirt still with the dong flap hanging over the chain skirt, which is doing jack squat. If you look at the old school, there you go. You just got your chain skirt, which does the job perfectly. Because, like, look at this dude. He looks like a beast. He's ready to go kill some, like, I don't know, abyssal demons. Go kill some, like, fucking chickens or cows. Whatever, dude. He's ready. All right, and so then we have the Tetsu armor. Yeah, we've got a couple problems with this. First off, it's got a very predominant dong flap. Um, it, it looks like a giant wooden dick is what <laughs> it looks like, uh, really. So there's that. Also, uh... Just about this helmet here, uh, it kind of makes you look like, I, I, and I understand it's supposed to be like oriental armor, which I, I get, but like, first of all, the, the, the dot, the, uh, God, I don't even know. I... It's, it's obviously trying to base off of the Indian dot on the forehead. I'm not culture. I don't know what it's called. There's probably some name for it, but it's obviously playing off that, and what the hell, the eyebrows? That pro I don't know why you need eyebrows on a helmet, but it looks like this guy is pissed as all hell. He's got an upside down, he's got like a frowny face. He just looks like a pissed human being. It's like you're in this really nice, like tier 90 defensive armor tank gear. It's totally and tier 80. Tier 80, whatever, <laughs> I haven't played in a year. He's got, you got a half crescent moon on your forehead as well. Maybe that's why he's upset, but. Oh, or I just the fact were... that he's got a wooden dong flap. That I thought might there were like actually, that. like, two horns that were the same size, one just got, like, broken or something. Could, that could easily be the thing. Oh. I don't know what Jagex is thinking. Well, the more you know. Uh, yeah, but they definitely continued the trend with uh, having dong claps on the armor here. Um, but just just real-world aspects. The This armor right here, just in the real world, you've never goddamn seen a dong flap. So I don't know what Jagex is doing with dong flaps. Did they so, like, invent it? In these, in these examples, if you were to get kicked in the nuts you would be okay, because there's clearly, like, metal there. But, like, any of these dong flaps, okay, maybe not all of them, but, like, a bunch of these dong flaps, if you get kicked up the nuts, they're not doing jack shit, except maybe the Guthans. That, maybe, maybe that's what the spikes are for, for the, the teeth. Exactly. Like, anti-nut kicking, I don't know. But, 
Anyway. But yeah, just throughout history, we've survived wars. We like we've obviously gotten this far past metal armor, but there was never dong flaps in sight. Even with this guy, he's got like the bucket helmet, which is was always a good choice. But yeah, he's got the bucket helmet, no dong flap. He looks pretty comfortable, not really, but he doesn't have a dong flap, so he's definitely more comfortable than this freaking steel armor guy with the metal dong flap chafing his dick. So this is all about dong flaps. If you guys would like us to make a different video about anything else, uh, just let us know, and uh, we'll uh, we'll try our best. So yeah, dong flaps. Dong flaps are love. Dong flaps are life. <laughs>